Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about a new fragrance added to Chanel. This is the Gabrielle Perfume. This is the Pure Perfume Extract. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. As you know, I have my online beauty consulting service. This is a one-on-one -on -one Zoom chat with me where you get to pick my brain about your beauty concerns. So if you have questions about any upcoming releases and you want advice that's unbiased and that doesn't give you that sales pressure, that is the benefit of my service. So go ahead and click the link in the description box down below to make your appointment today. Okay, let's talk about this new addition to the Gabrielle perfume line. Um, Gabrielle has existed for a few years now. I think the first one came out in 2018, maybe 2019. My mistake, the original Gabrielle came out in 2017 and this was an eau de parfum. Later on, they added the Essence, which is the one that I own here is the Essence. This came out in 2019. And then in 2022, they came out with the Perfume. Let's talk about this collection a little bit because if you look at the Chanel website, if you go into fragrances, you see number five, Coco Mademoiselle, and then Gabrielle. I think for the brand, Gabrielle was something that they really intended on having it be a blockbuster, something mag like magnanimous, is that the word? Something really epic. And I don't think it's quite been that. I have the essence version of Gabrielle. I do not own the perfume or the eau de parfum, but I have samples and I have the sample of the new perfume extract. To me, Gabrielle, the perfume has never been my fragrance. There, there are these soapy notes, for better <laughs> words, like there's this underlying soapiness that I can't quite escape from when I try this fragrance. And I think clearly naming it Gabrielle after Coco Mademoiselle herself and putting it in the top tier with number five, Coco Mademoiselle, and then Gabrielle, I think the brand really is trying to push something here that I don't know if it's actually quite working. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Let's go ahead and talk about the original Gabrielle, the Eau de Parfum here. So an Eau de Parfum will always be more concentrated and stronger than an Eau de Toilette, anything like that. So right away, this to me smells very bright. It almost smells yellow. I know that the juice, the perfume itself is bright and yellow, but something about this, I get resin. I get some sweetness as well. Interesting. I get lots of powder notes. I almost smell baby powder. And you know bubblegum, like a little piece of bubblegum, the wrapper, it has a powdery note to it. It reminds me a little bit of number five in that because number five to me has like a sweet powdery finish. But this is very, very floral, but it also has lots of wood notes and more fruit than I remember it having. I smell like resin and musk. It reminds me of an old cedar chest your grandmother would keep in the attic and you open it up and it has this like musty cedar earthy scent to it and it does have lots of florals like lots of yellow florals like ylang ylang i think some jasmine in there as well but it it is very chanel it smells very classic, but this was never my perfume. I don't know, it just, on me, it turned a bit soapy. And then the only one that I own, like I said, is Essence, Essence, which is a different variation on Gabrielle. There is a huge difference between Essence and Eau de Parfum. Um, it's more aquatic. There is more lightness it's not as heavy it doesn't give me you know opening up that cedar chest and you know smelling nostalgia and cedar wood and musk and resin it gives me 
a light spring day it's very bright very very sunny clear skies blue skies white clouds a hot sun a slight whisper of coconut but it's not a coconut cream it's more a coconut aquatic cool ice cube a type of scent lots of florals again lots of ylang ylang lots of more jasmine I, I pick up more jasmine on this one here um i would say it almost smells more floral like i smell more flowers in this essence version than eau de parfum definitely i pick up less wood less resin less musk i smell so many white flowers white linen there is there's a powderiness to it, but it just smells fresher. It's a fresher, lighter take on the original. This is clean. It's, it smells like opening up a balcony and airing out a bedroom with clean, crisp white linens. And it smells very clean, very powdery, very fresh. I could see this being someone's everyday perfume it's they did not reinvent the wheel with this one but if you want something clean and fresh and classic i think you could wear this to the office very easily because it just it smells nice it smells like a white bouquet of flowers just lots of jasmine lots of lilies or lilies white but just lots of white florals there's no rose in here um it's just it's very very clean now the perfume which is the highlight of today's video what's interesting is when you purchase the perfume the extract typically normally when you buy these perfumes from chanel they do not have a spray they sort of have a little twist top that you just pour onto your wrist dab around and wear the fragrance but this new one for gabrielle actually has a spray so if you do purchase this i would say be mindful be careful because the perfume this is not diluted this is the concentration of the pure extract it's very expensive compared to or i wouldn't say very expensive it's more expensive than the eau de parfum and it definitely is more concentrated and will last longer so i wouldn't uh, douse myself with the perfume extract personally but it's up to you what you do with your own fragrance so for the perfume extract i will do the same thing that i did i will use a little mouchoir and I'll, i will also spray some on my wrist i didn't spray the other perfumes on my arm here because i only have so much real estate i will do a comparison to see wrist versus tissue paper here i think for me the essence not the essence the perfume extract the perfume reminds me more of the classic eau de parfum i think the essence is a deviation it's very different than the eau de parfum and the parfum this to me reminds me more of the original you get lots of florals again this brightness this like piercing hot sun but on a cool spring day like not a hot summer heat that's muggy and stifling but just like a warm piercing sun through blue cloud through blue skies and white clouds this sort of thing lots of florals white florals and again ylang ylang with your yellow florals lots of jasmine tuberose tons of tuberose and I think with this one here, you get the callback to a little bit of your soapy notes. I think it's the tuberose that gives me a whisper of clean soapiness, like a bar of white soap that's sudsy, very, very clean. And again, more of that powdery note, that soft bubblegum powdery residue on the little paper that the gum came in it offers a slight sweet baby powder finish but not sickly sweet not a caramel sweet just like um similar to baby powder just like that soft sweetness that freshness it comes through with the parfum extract here on the tissue i notice more sandalwood a hint of vetiver just whispers of green notes of green fresh cut grass but then on me 
on my skin. It transforms into a little bit of vanilla, but not of sickly sweet vanilla, just more of a sensual, intimate scent that just mixes in with the vanilla and a little bit of your own musk to create something more intimate. It's less soapy on me. The paper is a different story, of course, but we're wearing it on our skin, not the paper. I think on me, once it's sort of adapted to my skin pH, it the soapiness is gone. You get nice florals, lots of yellow florals, lots of white florals, but you're sort of left with this lingering soft baby powder hint of vanilla, like a really good vanilla pod. That's what you're left with. You also get some orange blossom and it gives me a whisper of orange blossom and orange water. I know that there isn't any orange in here, but I think it's the orange blossom, orange water that gives me almost like herbal tea. Like if you could somehow make herbal tea with orange water and orange blossom and mix it in with other florals, I think it's picking up here. I do like the, I think if I had to put these in order, I would put the new uh, parfum extract, the essence, and then the eau de parfum. I think the eau de parfum for me is the only one that really does not work for me. It's too floral, it's too soapy. I think that the new pure perfume extract is more balanced, even though it's more of a callback to the original. Something about the composition, something about its execution, I think is nicer, it's more finessed, it's softer, it doesn't give me that intensity. I do like the bright sun bursting through the clouds, but I don't like the soapiness, it's not for me. And I'm really curious because I do have a conspiracy theory that Chanel thought that this would be a new Mademoiselle, a new Chanel Chance au Tendre, and it is not, in my opinion. Um, I don't know that many women who wear this as their signature perfume. I know more women who wear number five versus Gabrielle, and I would like to hear from you. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you wear Gabrielle? If so, which variation? Because they also have the hair mist for Gabrielle, they have the body lotion, they have, you know, all the little extras, the uh, body cream, all those lovely things. So I would love to hear from you. I think they also have a deodorant. So clearly there is a different version of Gabrielle out there for every woman. And let me know if you agree with me with my little conspiracy theory that I think Chanel definitely thought that this would be a blockbuster perfume because I'm really curious how they decide the order of these things. Maybe it's an order of newness, but that wouldn't really make sense because they've had other new fragrances and I don't know. That's just my thought. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love to hear from you. I love to hear what you think of Gabrielle. Have you tried them? Have you tried their different samples? I just wanna know. I'm very, very curious because who else am I gonna share my thoughts and opinions with, you know? Who else wants to talk about Gabrielle Chanel? If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope you take the time to subscribe and hitting the notification bell actually does make a difference because I talk about lots of luxury beauty, lots of Chanel. So if you want a notification when I post a new collection, a new release, which there are many of, I recommend hitting subscribe and the notification bell does make a huge difference. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for all of your support. I truly, truly appreciate it. And on that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I thank you all so much for stopping. Bye. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.